In this video, we're going to take a close look at the custom layout template in Suffusion Theme, and we're going to set up a web page with the custom layout template. The first thing that we need to do is create a new page. Once this page is created, we'll select Custom Layout from the drop down menu titled Template on the right hand side of the page. With the custom layout, there will be no content typed into the edit field. All of the content will be added in another way. Here is what the page will look like before any modifications are made by adding to the layout. Now that we have the page created, there are two sections on the back end of WordPress that we'll be using for this setup. The first is the Suffusion Templates page. This is found under the Appearance tab in the Suffusion Options. Once in the Suffusion Options, you'll find the Custom Layout Template settings under Templates. The other section we'll be modifying is the Widgets page. This is also found under the Appearance tab in the Widget Options. Once in the Widget Options, we'll be accessing the five custom widget layout areas. Let's first take a look at all of the custom widget layout areas. In Widget Area number 1, I want one column, and in this column, I'm going to set some recent posts to show. In Widget Area number 2, I want three columns. The first column is going to be posts from a specific category of articles. The second column is going to be a login widget, and the third column is going to also be pages that are set into a custom featured content slider. In widget area number three, I want two columns. The first is going to be a list of featured resources on the site, and the second column is going to be a list of the most recent posts. In widget area number four, I want four columns. Each column is going to have an image in it that will take the person to a specific page of the website that covers a specific topic. Finally, in widget area number five, I want three columns. Column number one will be a search bar. Column number two will be a list of the most recent comments on the site. And column number three will be a translation widget that will allow the page to be translated to another language. In the Suffusion Custom Layout Settings section, I've already adjusted the settings to the appropriate number of columns and the desired height settings. I'm going to leave the skinning to the default for now. When you create your own custom layout page, you'll just need to play with these settings to see what works best for you. So once I've adjusted the column and height settings, I'm going to head over to the widgets page and begin to add the widgets that I want to populate each of the custom layout areas. One thing to note is that you don't have to use all of the custom fields. You can use all five, or you can just use one or two or whatever suits your needs. I've already placed all of the widgets in their custom layout fields, but if you're starting from scratch, you would simply choose the desired widget and drag and drop it into the appropriate custom template field. In widget area number one, I've placed a single widget that's called a query post widget. This widget allows for the display of posts and pages in a variety of ways. Let's take a look at this for a minute. The settings here come with brief explanations, but may seem confusing at first. Play around with these settings to see what works best for you. Also, it'll help to have 20 to 30 posts and pages when you begin setting this up. If you don't have any content to display, it may be difficult to get a good feel for what the custom layout template will actually look like. Here, I've set a title, the number of posts to display, and the display order. I've set the posts to display a thumbnail image, title, and excerpt, and I've set the excerpt to 50 words. I've also set a link button that will take a user to an entire page of related posts if they like. Here, you can set to show one selected category, or you can display all categories. If you have the Category Icons plugin activated, you can set this to use a category image instead of the thumbnail image featured in the actual post, or you can set a custom image of your choice by entering the image link here. This is where we scale the image as needed to improve the look of the widget relative to its surroundings. You can filter and show certain posts based upon their tags, or you can show either pages and posts by entering the page or post ID here. You can also choose the type of post that you'd like to show. I usually just tick this box to show all post types, but there may be some different applications for you. Finally, you can choose to show each post as a separate widget. It says this works only for full posts, but it does seem to work when post excerpts are implemented as well. I want to show you something for one second. 
Here's how ticking the separate widgets box affects the look of the widget area. And this is what it looks like when they're not shown separately. I personally like the separate widgets for each post a little better than the combined format. In custom area number two, for the first column, I used another query post and set the area to show one specific category, only one post, and then I set to show only the thumbnail. In the second column, I placed a login widget on the page, and in the third column, I placed a custom featured post slider. Let's take a look at the featured post slider for a minute. I set the slider to the desired height, display the post title and excerpt. Also, I set the slider to display on the pages listed in the Includes Pages section. There are several other features with the custom featured post slider, and you'll just need to play around with these to get a feel for how they work. In custom layout area number three, each column is made from a query post widget, and I've tweaked the settings to show some of the site's featured resource pages on the left and recent posts on the right. In custom area number four, I've set it for four columns and placed a text widget in each column. I wanted to place a clickable image in each widget that would represent a different category of posts on the site. This image, when clicked, will take someone to a page that I designate for this category of posts. So for each text widget, I enter the HTML code to display the clickable image. If you want to see how to create a clickable image, watch my video titled, How to Make a Clickable Image in WordPress. In the final area, custom area number five, I've placed three simple widgets that require little customization, the search widget, the comments widget, and the translator widget. So that's it for the custom template setup. The only other thing that may enhance this layout is to customize the page using a WordPress child theme. Here's what the custom layout page looked like without a child theme. And here's what the custom layout page looked like when I added styling in my child theme for the layout page. Visit jeffreyjack.com for more success building videos, tips, and tutorials, and for the best Suffusion theme training videos on the web.